Jimmy Johnson wrestled the lead away from Denny Hamlin with 16 laps to go. Went on to score the victory. Goody's Fast Pain Relief 500 for his fifth win in the last six NASCAR Spring Cup Series races at Martinsville Speedway. The win came on the 25th anniversary of Hendrick Motorsports' first career win, which Jeff Bodine scored at Martinsville in 1984. It also marked the 18th career victory at Martinsville for the team. Hamlin dominated the race and was trying to notch his second straight win in the event at his home state track. He had lost the lead to Johnson on a late race pit stop, but put on a daring move on a restart with 45 laps to go. But Johnson was able to run Hamlin down and the two made contact racing through turns three and four on lap 484. They both slid up the track, but Johnson was able to slide by into the lead and Hamlin was forced to settle into second place where he wound up when the checkered flag flew. I just patiently worked away at him and, and got in an area where I could um, try to outbreak him and get position into turn three. And I got in there alongside of him and um, he kept coming down to, uh, to go to the inside line and we made some contact and both of us, I think I went up over the curb and we're both sideways. Unfortunately, nobody tore anything up, but um, you know, just uh, a close moment. And I think it is really just tough, you know, good hard short track racing. I think Denny was trying real hard to protect his lead and winning in his home state. And um, I wanted to get to the front really bad because um, I want to win one. And two, I want to win for uh, Mr. Hendrick here on the 25th anniversary of Hendrick Motorsports winning. Hamlin, who led four times for 296 laps, wound up second for the second straight week. Believe me, I've been in, I've been in the top three many times. I've led many times on last laps and all that. You know, it's tough to say that you've gotten used to losing, but, you know, I've just I've gotten used to, you know, the disappointment at the end. You know, it's not like a new thing. Now, I, my hunger is still the same, for sure. You know, I, I'd want to win races, and, and you know, but I, I can't help being in the position I was in. I, I ran as hard as I could. He was on my bumper, and he was on the position to move me out of the way, and he did, and I would have done the same thing. Tony Stewart finished third to mark his career best finish in a points paying race as the owner driver of the Stewart Haas racing team. It was his fourth top 10 finish in the year's first six races. Really proud of our day. Uh, you know, it, it, we're, we're inching up closer. We're, we're not quite where we, exactly where we want to be yet, but uh, you know, six weeks into it, I'm pretty proud of where we're at. I mean, I felt like we had a awesome day as an organization today. Uh, I was proud of our guys. They, uh, you know, had good pit stops all day. I think we only had one pit stop that we were off a little bit, and, and we were able to, to get that track position back, and, and they really fired off a stop at the end that um, I think got us out fourth or fifth or something. So, uh, you know, it, that's what it took to stay up there at the end. I mean, everybody's got their cars pretty good and pretty dialed in at the end of the race there. So, um, again, that track position was important. Jeff Gordon, who started from the pole, led 147 laps en route to a fourth-place finish and now leads Clint Boyer, who finished fifth on Sunday, by 89 points in the Spring Cup Series point standings. Ryan Newman, Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt Jr., A.J. Allmendinger, and Jamie McMurray completed the top ten finishers. The NASCAR Spring Cup Series now heads to Texas Motor Speedway for next Sunday's Samsung 500. Tickets for all upcoming NASCAR races, including October's Tums Fast Relief 500 at Martinsville, can be purchased by visiting racetickets.com.